the idea of him speaking with people, as you say, whose lives he's really changed and his government has changed, mm -hmm. um, sitting across the table with food in front of them, talking about what the last year has been like was a really powerful idea. Sitting prime minister, sitting down to talk to the people, but, but, at, but at the same time, the, the emotion that's being drawn out, not only from the people, mm. but from him. Like, he seems so emotional through the whole thing. I think the very beginning of the conversation, we had uh, Vanek Garbedian, who's a doctor, the mm -hmm. first guy who came off that first plane a year ago. Uh, and when he got off the plane, he met the Prime Minister, and the Prime Minister talked to him in the airport. Watching you and your girls walk through this airport towards me was a moment in which I understood um, just the kinds of things that we can do as a country and that I get to help this country do, that I got. You wouldn't have been walking on Canadian soil that night if I hadn't uh, you know, said, we can do this together and made it done. A year ago when we interviewed him, had just become the prime minister, had this idea was just sort of forming. He didn't know what he was getting into. So to be able to look back a year later, I think was powerful for them, but I think important for him as well. The result is you end up with a political conversation, but a very human conversation as well. Yeah. And, and again, their lives have changed dramatically in the last year because of something that, that he did. And had that not happened, it could have still been the woman Siam who could have been still begging on the streets in Lebanon, Doctor Who's family uh, could have still been stuck in Syria. That's a, uh, a massive change.